Hello and uh, good day to everyone. I am in uh, Riga, capital city of uh, Latvia, and uh, it also turns out to be my my home city. And uh, I have found myself in uh, in one of the areas here in Riga, about 10-15 minutes tram ride uh, of city center, and. Uh, in this small video, this small tour, I will uh, not show you the, the beautiful old town, the nice restaurants, but uh, I will show you how uh, regular people live here in Riga, Latvia. The area is called Sarkandaugova, and uh, in translation from Latvian it means Red Daugava. Daugava is the river that flows through Riga and all through Latvia. And uh, this is also the neighborhood where I myself used to live for a couple of years, so I kind of know around, but uh, it will still be interesting for me to, to come back and see what has changed and uh, see how it looks these days. I do realize that from the first look it uh, might look kind of a uh, little bit depressing but as I said this is the reality this is how people live I would say maybe even about uh, 60 maybe even 70 percent of Latvians live in uh, neighborhoods like this and uh, as always, I don't have a, a plan, a structure for this video, so I will just walk around and show some cool, interesting things I know from this area. If you look closer, you could see the ornament that uh, in Latvian means Hauseklitis, which uh, is a historical symbol in Latvian culture and uh, I think it's pretty cool that uh, in the middle of this kind of soviet -y neighborhood they have still saved these uh, kind of road tiles and uh, other thing I would like to tell is that for example check this building It's built in uh, 1910, so almost, uh, not almost, but more than 100 years old building. So here in Sarkandaugova there is a, a good mix of buildings like this, built more than 100 years ago and very typical Soviet brick buildings you can see there in the distance called the uh, Khrushchevkas. Let's go inside in the the block house buildings. If you need to repair your clothes, this is the, the place to do it. I'm not sure if it's open or it's been open for past five, ten years, but anyhow. The place is still there. For male, for women and for kids. The scenery like this, I think uh, could be found anywhere across uh, post-Soviet uh, countries so I don't know if you're from Western world then this might uh, seem quite Soviet and quite rundown but uh, 
us uh, Eastern Europeans, us Latvians are quite uh, used to scenes like this. So for me, coming here, it uh, really feels nothing special and quite normal. But of course, if you live somewhere outside Eastern Europe, then these uh, scenes might be quite uh, gray and miserable. But uh, for me, this is uh, just a regular neighborhood. Sometimes I'm uh, still surprised how some of these uh, houses are still standing because the original plan when the uh, Soviet Union was still on was to build them and uh, they should last about uh, 20, 30 years but uh, it's already long overdue so they are uh, I guess still standing strong. And also one uh, interesting thing, of course it's uh, midday, everyone is probably at work, but uh, it's empty. And uh, not even here, in the kind of outskirts of city center, even city center is empty. distance you could see old factories and there are actually quite few of them here in uh, Sarkandalgova and uh, the good thing is they are still up and running and giving uh, work for many people living around this uh, neighborhood so I hope the, they're still going and yes Very, very typical Soviet uh, Khrushchevka. They usually five uh, five stories high, but in some cases they could be four or three. But the the basic, the standard is uh, five. That is a quite romantic small little balcony. And uh, we are entering the kind of old part of Sarkandalgova or maybe wooden building part of Sarkandalgova, for example. They have also buildings like this here. Which uh, I think uh, look very beautiful. Of course they need uh, a massive renovation but uh, nevertheless I, I really like how they look it says Stiklenia Kudarbnit which means uh, the the <laughs> the glass uh, Glassman's uh, uh, workshop. Oh, -ho. I see uh, sauna in the distance. In Latvian, sauna is pirts. 
let's uh, see if it's still uh, opened. And uh, this small street might uh, seem nothing special, but for me, I actually think it's quite romantic and I believe that in every neighborhood, every place, you can uh, find some, uh, some sort of romance, like check these. Sarkan Dalgova Tunnel. Okay, good news. The pirt is open. So, if you would want a service, they actually offer specific service that they can uh, whip you with a birch tree and and uh, yeah, they basically have uh, everything here. It's uh, not so cheap though, 15 euros, but uh, I've been to one or two of these professional uh, sauna rituals they have here in Latvia and this price is uh, well worth it. 15 euros and you're in seventh heaven, you feel like a newborn after these. So definitely, if you have chance, try real sauna rituals in uh, Latvia. be interesting to know when uh, these wooden houses are built. I can uh, probably find that in internet, maybe I'll do it uh, later for myself, but uh, interesting. Okay. The first street art of Sarkandalgov, dedicated uh, to the cats. I uh, don't find any logic in these texts, so basically it gives like uh, 13 or 12 things cats would do anyway. I'm a dog person, so don't care. Beautiful, really, really beautiful. Yeah, most of uh, these buildings here really need some uh, serious renovation. It's uh, sad to see beautiful buildings like these go to waste. And uh, if you wondered, do people uh, still live there? Yes, people absolutely still live there, so... In uh, all these houses, 
even uh, down there at the ground level people are still living and uh, this is the reality this is the way people live Not uh, everything here in Sarkandalgo looks uh, grim and round down, so there are also uh, some uh, refurbished houses, like uh, this wooden building, for example, and uh, some uh, sporting ground in the middle of uh, the center. So here in uh, Sarkandalgo and in Riga, very sporty people, any time of the day, you can uh, come here and do some uh, workout. They uh, even have the techniques and uh, I think uh, this is a very cool spot. In uh, in my time though, I lived here for a couple of years. I haven't uh, seen anyone doing uh, some activities here, but uh, I'm sure there are people and I hope there are people because this is very, very cool. Twenty-four hour shop sadly closed seems like for many years and uh, that is the reality of these smaller shops there used to be quite uh, quite few of them here but uh, of course uh, they are taken over by bigger chains bigger malls sort of and uh, for these small ones there's no no clients anymore because they they can't offer the 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 prices the big ones can and they're just simply have to go out of the business sad another soviet uh, masterpiece this time in uh, red or pink sort of to say he's uh, putting the salt on the streets that uh, they wouldn't be slippery in uh, many countries they uh, have banned use of salt in the roads or on the pavements but uh, not here not in Latvia and uh, it is what it is This uh, particular scenery could uh, truly be anywhere in Soviet Union, let's say in a far, far uh, Siberian village. Uh, 
this behind me is the great example how these wooden houses could uh, could be uh, could be uh, refurbished and uh, I really do hope that uh, one day the government or the the private owners of these houses will will find money and bring this uh, cute uh, part of Sarkandalgova back to its uh, original glory because you have this behind me and then on the other side of the street something like this and quite a bit of contrast as you find not only here but all around Riga and uh, Latvia you have of course rich and nearby you have uh, poor and uh, it leads to another wooden uh, house street in Sarkandalgo But yeah, this is a uh, real Riga for you. Not your uh, glamorous old town with the uh, fancy restaurants and uh, well uh, developed infrastructure and street. And the uh, neighborhood cat. very skeptical but uh, back to the point I uh, I truly truly love how everything uh, looks here and it's very authentic and real I know I use this word quite a lot through this uh, video but really this is real and I hope uh, one day it will be back to its uh, original glory that uh, Sarkandalgova really deserves. If you come a little bit outside of the, the living uh, area of Sarkandalgova, you are uh, presented by forest, almost uh, it's not a big forest, it's a small forest, but nevertheless next to the city, next to all the shops and housing buildings, you can also get uh, quite quickly to the nature. And uh, not only you can uh, get to the nature, I will show you in a, in a second uh, the train station, you can uh, get in a train and in about uh, two or three stops you can be down to the to the beach because Riga is uh, located in the coastline of the Baltic Sea and uh, in the summertime when it's warm and sunny in this uh, platform there are uh, hundreds of people during the day waiting for the train and going to the seaside okay here i have come to the train station of sarkandalgo sarkandalgo